And I was just telling people, just like, you got to stop. This is, yeah. this is not right. You can't just beat the shit out of this person. And they're like, you know, he's our enemy. I'm like, but he's still a human. You can't just kill him. And they're like, we just, we, we won't hurt him. We just want to kick him a little bit. I'm like, but there's so many people kicking him. Like, they don't realize just one person wants to kick, but there's hundreds of them all want one kick. And um, he got like a necklace on like this. Okay. And he got snapped away. And he's, he's barely conscious. He's just like this. And then that necklace gets snapped away and then he's like panicking, like he really needs that necklace. And I grab the necklace and I put it into his hand and he's just holding that necklace really tight. Like it was this jade necklace. And obviously that's really special to him. And so he's just like, he's been like attacked from every position. There's people hitting with sticks, they're like stamping on his feet. And at that point I'm still holding him and trying to stop people. And, and the people around me, they like respect that I'm trying to protect him but they also want to kick him. Even I would die for Hong Kong, but this isn't a war. And even if it was a war, you don't treat prisoners like that. Do you mean you don't treat prisoners like that? You treat prisoners with respect, right? And so for me, I, I even support violent protests. You can go on my Facebook page, you can see. I'm known for like supporting the violent protesters, but that's not protesting. That's just mob violence. It's just, it's just beyond any kind of like, level of protest that we should, we should, we should tolerate.